and welcome to another Wheelie Fun Pops. I'm Amy, the voice from over there is Peter. Today we are focusing on our latest mail call. We've had some amazing bits of, uh, well, bits and pieces through the post, some jankies, some Funko Pops, all kinds, which we would love to share with you guys. So, Mr. Postman, could you please pass me the very first of our boxes. Ah, yes, right. Okay, so just recently, uh, you will have seen our, in, in one of our videos, we talked about our Pop in a Box subscription box. We thought that we'd, re we, but there, we thought that we'd received one normal size pop and a plus size pop instead of our three pops subscription. We were, in fact, incorrect. We received three pops except one was set, sent separately and that was this one which is the spider punk from the um gameiverse marvel gameiverse which i'm not actually that keen on most of the gameiverse figures to be honest but i i really love spider-man and i kind of had to have it so it was on my i want list i wasn't going to go out and buy him but if he showed up in my pop in a box, box subscription, mm -hmm. subscription, I wasn't going to be upset. So that was my reasoning, and I'm sticking by it. So that means that this month, in our £28 subscription, we got £53 worth of pop. Yeah, £28 subscription, £58 worth of pop. £53. £53 worth of pops. Yes, not confusing at all. But anyway, yes, so pop in a box, box subscription, as far as we're concerned, totally worth it. Right, what have we got next? Ooh, oh, this is, this is a lovely one because um, I don't know if you guys are part of the Facebook community at all, but on Facebook there is a massive, very inclusive, very accepting community of uh, Funko pages and groups that, that you can join. And one of the things that they do is that they what they run what they call waffles, which are raffles, which are raffles. And I had never done one before. I joined one just because in the stack of Funkos that you could pick from, I saw this pop and I thought, oh, it would be so great to add that to our collection because we have quite a large collection of these pops. Um, and I, I put in one, one ticket, I think it was one out of 20. I, you know, it was, it was a two pound, I think it was a two pound 50 or a two pound ticket. And lo and behold, I only went and won. I was absolutely flabbergasted. I just couldn't believe, couldn't believe that I'd won. So, um, the lovely lady running it, um, whose name is currently escaping me. I did say I'd mention her, but now I can't remember her name. I'm really sorry. Um, but yes, the lovely lady who was running it uh, got in touch with me and said, which pop do you want? And I said, I'd love this pop. She said, there is a tiny bit of damage to it, a light, slight creasing. I said, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. She sent me pictures, to be fair. And I checked it over. And um, yeah, I was, I was just so keen to have this pop in our collection um because i've seen it i've seen it on ebay um i've seen it at stupid prices and i've just i've never i've always been sort of, oh, i can't I can't justify it and yeah for two pounds i now have it in my collection so do join in with the funko community uh, on on facebook and online generally because the more people are part of the uh, the the waffles, um, the more fun it is for everyone, really, and the, the better the prizes. So anyway, this prize is very well wrapped. She wasn't taking any chances at all. Um, and look what I have to add to my Back to the Future collection. I am thrilled. I am absolutely over the moon um it's marty mcfly back to the future 816 and he is a hot topic exclusive and he is 
he's just unbelievably cute in his pink fringed cowboy wannabe shirt and hat holding his cowboy boots in one hand with his trainers on it's it's just brilliant it's absolutely brilliant so very very happy with that very happy indeed thank you so much to the lovely lovely lady who has taken so much care sending it okay right then do you want to put that somewhere safe mm -hmm. box. and the box here we go and what do we have next oh big box big box what's in this don't big... show our address I didn't oh, it out. don't show the address don't show the address right okay so we've got this one who is King Janky the Sixth. Uh, he is he is quite a bad looking gangster dude, isn't he? Uh, very very sort of like Al Capone New York Prohibition era kind of feel to him. So let's have a look at what he looks like in the flesh. Here you go. Right. So let's have a look at this little guy. He is really quite awesome with his little Tommy gun there. You see that? That looks quite awesome, doesn't it? He's got his lovely little hat there that comes in two pieces and that you assemble uh, when you take him out of box. He's got a lovely, really nice pinstripe waistcoat um, and the sixth written on the back of his head so fantastic addition to our ever expanding janky collection you can see here we have nearly three tiers full of jankies so here you go peter do you want to look after king janky yep. there for a minute and um, he is limited to 999 pieces only 999 of those have been produced and will be produced so we're quite fortunate to have one this next one is it's it's a bit mad when you first look at it but trust me it grows on you um this is one of those things that peter saw and he just had to have this is a super janky so a plus size janky um, and it is called Crocodilius. You want to tell us about the artist, please? He's uh, designed by James Groman, who, as we've said in a previous video, we designed have. the Mad Balls, worked yeah. with Ray Harryhausen, worked, done some work for DC Comics. His, his thing is monsters. He is just brilliant with creating and imagining things that are monstrous, and terrible and scary and claws, teeth, scales, you name it. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this guy. One of the hand-drawn Jankies for Series 2. And Super Plastic uh, liked him so much that they decided to make it into an 18-inch Janky. Yeah, and he is really very cool. I mean, because most people have taken... A look at the the shape of the janky and they've said well that's a cat uh, or, or a cat like creature and so that's what I'm going to create on it he's taken a look at the shape and gone no actually I'm gonna go in a completely different direction and create this little reptile dude who is really awesome and has these awesome big eyes up here and uh, and these these side bits here which are usually whiskers are uh, have been made into teeth I just again it's one of those things when I first saw it I wasn't exactly sold gotta say wasn't exactly sold but when when I had it in my hands when I've seen it up close it's just one of those things that is just so super cool. So yeah, really pleased to add him to our collection. Here we go. Was there anything else in this mail call? 
There is one more thing, which I'm sure you'll be very excited about. What's that? Okay. Oh, well, anything Address. from... Ooh. Yeah, we must, you know, yeah. do the whole address thing. What the... It's on both ends. It's on both ends. Don't show the address to the people. Shall we do that again? Yeah. Okay. So, one more thing that you'll be very excited about. Oh, yeah? What's yeah. that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Don't so, show the ends of the box. Don't show the ends of the box because that's our address. So, anything from pop culture is always, always exciting. I, I just, I love the fact that they have their own boxes with their own branding. It's just so exciting to get one through the mail. So here we go. This is one that, oh, I was, I was so sure we had missed out on. I was so sure we had missed out on. And then Peter, bless him, he, he was... W weren't you up in the middle of the night for this it, one? It was about half past five in the morning. Half got past up. five in the morning he got up to make sure that he was in line for one of these beauties. <sighs> but she's so beautiful. Look at her. Look, look at her. Look, look at wonder, marvel. At the beauty of the Kraken. She is so gorgeous. Oh, now what I'm really hoping it is with these is that they decide to do variants because I would love to see this one in red, black, and gold. Mm -hmm. I would really, really love to see this one in red, black, and gold. That would that would be awesome. And possibly, possibly another variant in just black and gold. Yeah. That would be really nice as well. So uh, are you listening, Funko? Are you? You know, so call me. <laughs> I have ideas. Um, but yes, really, 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 really happy to have this as part of our collection. Um, we we are trying, trying to gather up the myths. It's pretty hard, actually. They are hard to get hold of. Uh, we managed to get hold of one, another one just recently, which, you know, should be coming in uh, months. Yeah, sometime sometime soon. in the next few months god knows when but we got one so yes miss collection we are missing medusa oh yes and we are missing loch ness oh yes medusa and loch ness so hard to get your hands on so you know i'm searching for those anybody out there selling them at you know less than the cost of my soul um i'd be interested in hearing from you <laughs> Anyway, I think that's everything for today. That's it for this one. So, fun mail call. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, do let us know in the comments. Um, brain fart. Notification. Yes, yes. Why do I always freeze at that particular moment? Duh. Anyway, yes, do. Um... Give us a like if you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe uh, to see more of my madness and um, hit the notification bell if you'd like to hear about upcoming videos. Uh, thank you again for watching. I've been Amy, he's been Peter, and we've been Willy Fun Pops. Bye.